Hello, my name is Caroline and I work at the Litchfield Park Branch Library. Have you ever read a book that you just couldn't put down? A book so suspenseful that it kept you up late at night? Have you ever wondered what makes a book so thrilling? Today, we will identify the elements of a good thriller. First, let's discuss the history of thriller. In 1844, Alexander Dumas wrote what is considered to be the first revenge thriller. The Count of Monte Cristo is about a man who is wrongfully imprisoned. An older man that he is imprisoned with teaches him about the location of a great treasure. He finds the fortune and seeks revenge on those who destroyed his life. The first 20th century thriller is The Riddle of the Sands, a record of the Secret Service written in 1903 by Robert Erskine Childers. This early spy novel was extremely influential and immensely popular. It's about an amateur British sailor on a yachting holiday in the Baltic who stumbles upon a German invasion plan masterminded by a renegade Englishman. The protagonist must choose between warning his country and his love for the traitor's daughter. Here are seven thriller subgenres. Legal thrillers, usually involve an attorney becoming overly involved in a legal case to the point that it may destroy their career or hurt them personally. One of the most well-known legal thriller authors is John Grisham. John Grisham had a successful law practice but grew restless and personally dissatisfied. He decided to become a politician in the hopes of reforming the education system in the state of Mississippi. He became convinced that he could never cut through the red tape and government bureaucracy and resigned his legislative post. In 1987, he wrote his first novel, A Time to Kill, a novel that he had a difficult time trying to publish, but is now considered one of his best works. Here are some examples of legal thrillers. John Grisham's The Client, A Time to Kill, The Firm, The Pelican Brief, and The Whistler. John Lesquois, A Certain Justice, Damage, the mercy rule, and guilt. Medical thrillers center on medical practices or surgery. They often have protagonists who race against time to save the world from a pandemic or a modern medical advancement gone wrong. Legal thrillers are usually written by former lawyers, so it's not surprising that medical thrillers are written by former surgeons. Robin Cook, one of the most well-known medical thriller authors, is a former surgeon. His first novel, Coma, is a tale of black market in human organs. Here are a few examples of medical thrillers. Robin Cook's Viral, Charlatans, Cell, and Cure. Daniel Kala's The Last High and Pandemic. Michael Palmer's The Sisterhood, Miracle Cure, and Natural Causes. Military thrillers center on a protagonist who is or was a member of the military. These novels appeal to former members of the military because of their reliance on an understanding of weaponry, lingo, and the ins and outs of how a branch of the military runs. Tom Clancy popularized military and espionage thrillers. While Clancy was working as an insurance salesman, he became interested in military history, specializing in naval history. His first novel, The Hunt for Red October, was published by the Naval Institute Press, who had only published nonfiction books before his. The information in the detailed novel came from unclassified books and naval documents and interviews with submariners. Here are a few examples of military thrillers. Tom Clancy's The Hunt for Red October, Red Storm Rising, Patriot's Game, Clear and Present Danger, and The Sum of All Fears. David Poyer's The Med, The Cruiser, Onslaught, and Overthrow. Rick Campbell's The Trident Deception, Empire Rising, Ice Station Nautilus, and Blackmail. Psychological thrillers pit two brilliant minds, the protagonist and the psychopath, against one another in a battle of wits. These stories often involve themes of human consciousness and have a dissolving sense of reality or an unreliable narrator. 
The big questions in the novel revolve around the mind and human behaviors. When I think of psychological thrillers, I think of Thomas Harris. The inspiration for some of his novels came from his time as a night police reporter. His second thriller, Red Dragon, started the Hannibal Lecture series. In this novel, FBI agent Will Graham attempts to hunt a serial killer by adopting the mindset of a criminal. In his next novel, The Silence of the Lambs, FBI agent Clarice Starling consults convicted serial killer Hannibal Lecter to try to understand the mind of a serial killer. Here are a few psychological thriller novels. Thomas Harris's Red Dragon, Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal, Hannibal Rising. Patricia Highsmith's The Ripley series, Strangers on the Train. John Conley's Every Dead Thing, The Dark Hollow, The Killing Kind, and The White Road. As the name implies, revenge thrillers are about the characters who throw caution to the wind in the name of avenging a supposed wrong. Stig Larsson wrote the extremely popular Millennium series in which the main character, Lisbeth Salander, has a history of being victimized. She works with Mikhail Blomqvist to unravel the past. Larson was an investigative journalist and activist who worked to counter the actions of right-wing radical groups in Sweden. Unfortunately, he died before his three-book series was published. Here are some examples of revenge thrillers. Stig Larson's The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, The Girl Who Played with Fire, and The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest. Fern Michaels, Weekend Warriors, Payback, The Jury, and Sweet Revenge. Jillian Finn's Gone Girl. The plot of a spy or political thriller revolves around some aspect of the government. Common themes in spy or political novels are political corruption, terrorism, and warfare. Some novels center on both real and fictional political events. Robert Ludlum did not start as a novelist. His first career was as an actor doing theater, television, and commercial voiceovers. He found success as a producer before writing his first published novel at 42. His Born Identity trilogy became very popular because of the movie starring Matt Damon. Here are a few spy and political thrillers. The Born Identity Trilogy by Robert Ludlum, Vince Flynn's American Assassin, Term Limits, Transfer of Power, The Third Option, Brad Thor's The Lions of Lucerne, State of the Union, Take Down, The Last Patriot, The First Commandment. Supernatural thr thrillers usually contain some aspect of the paranormal. They have fantasy and horror elements such as psychics, ghosts, witches, or vampires. One of the most prolific supernatural thriller authors is Dean Koontz. Koontz started out as a teacher while writing at night and on weekends. He quit his job for five years to work on his writing career while his wife supported him. When his writing career took off, his wife quit her job to become his manager. Here are a few supernatural thrillers. Dean Koontz, Odd Thomas, Deeply Odd, Odd Apocalypse, and Forever Odd. Nora Roberts, Year One of Blood and Bone, The Rise of Magics. Kay Hooper's Sleeping with Fear, Blood Sins, Hunting Fear, and Haunted. Some of the basic elements of thriller are protagonists with complicated personalities. They are usually strong enough or skilled enough to overcome obstacles, but imperfect enough to make them relatable to the reader. Action-packed opening scenes that put the reader on the edge of their seats from the very first page. This scene usually introduces the crime, conflict, or stakes. The villain is usually not purely evil. Their motivations are rooted in a relatable desire or emotion. They are motivated by their own internal logic. A lot of plot twists, turning points, and cliffhangers. Conflict is very important for building suspense. The conflict is the center of what makes a reader eager to find out what happens. Some stories have smaller conflicts that build off the main conflict. You may have learned the different basic conflicts in literature class in school. 
Here is an overview of the basic conflicts. Person versus person, friction between protagonists and antagonists. Person versus nature, conflict between characters and the environment. Person versus self, inner conflicts such as fear and doubt or self-destructiveness. Person versus society, struggles between individuals and social codes in their world. Person versus supernatural, conflict between characters and paranormal otherworldly events. Person versus technology, conflict between characters and the results of scientific discovery. Pacing is also important in the thriller. The most engaging thrillers are quick paced with a time limit to solving the problem. The setting of a thriller can bring a certain atmosphere to the overall plot line and helps to build suspense. A scene set in a dark, abandoned building is more menacing than a scene taking place on a beach on a sunny day. A thriller has high stakes to keep the suspense going. High stake threats can involve the difference between life and death and the readers desperate to know what happens. Why do we enjoy reading thrillers? Thrillers give your brain a mental workout. Reading a thriller engages your brain in an active experience that is like exercising your body to stay in good shape. A thriller provides a puzzle to work through, like an obstacle course for your brain. Your brain is hardwired to absorb information in story form, analyze it, and store it away for future reference. Thrillers can help to release stress. As you read, you experience ev events vicariously because the events are not happening to you even though your brain reacts as if they are. By the end of the book, you feel a sense of relief. When you read a thriller that is rife with threats against core values, when good triumphs over evil, you feel the world come back into balance and receive renewed strength to carry on. Thrillers reaffirm that heroes are individuals who make difficult choices and sacrifices for the good of others. Thrillers tell us it's important to put aside one's own personal interests for the betterment of others. They inspire us to rise to the best that is within us and to serve our families and communities. There are many ways to find a good thriller here in the library system. Novelist Plus uses appeal factors to find the right book for you to read. You can find Novelist Plus on our website at mcldaz.org. Click on Thrillers and Suspense in the menu to the left. Another menu appears with different recommended reading lists. You can also scroll down the home page to Keeping Up and click on Thrillers. This gives you a page with recommendations, links to explore thriller themes, and links to award lists. We have many great thrillers you can borrow on Libby. Libby is a free app that you can download to a smartphone, tablet, or use your web browser. All you need to get started is your library card. Thank you for joining me today and have fun reading thrillers.